This family secretly rules the world. Money, power, and influence aren't easy to come by. Believe me, it takes time, effort, and a healthy amount of under-the-table dealings to achieve these things, unless you're fortunate enough to be born into a family that already has them. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about these particular families who have amassed insane amounts of wealth, power, and influence over the centuries, and have used it to position themselves in a very convenient and important part of society. So, stay tuned till the end of this video. These are some of the most powerful families in the world, and they've basically won the economic game and done a little bit of shaping society to their whims. Rothschild Family if you know anything about conspiracy theories, you've probably heard about the Rothschilds. From the most bizarre to the most plausible, the Rothschilds have been involved in everything from controlling every central bank in the world to even controlling the weather. With a combined net worth of $400 billion, who are the Rothschilds really? Alien emissaries? Well, they are a German banking and finance dynasty that rose to international prominence in the early 18th century and went on to establish operations all over Europe. They were even elevated to nobility by the Austrian government. So yes, they are extremely wealthy. But you probably guessed that the Rothschilds rise to power began with Meyer Rothschild, whose keen talent for finance led him to become a prominent member of the global banking industry and installed his five sons in the financial capitals of Europe. They successfully adapted to the Industrial Revolution during a period of economic growth throughout Europe, landing themselves an oligopolistic position in the world trade of oil and metal. The Rothschilds were so powerful that they can lend money to the entire countries. Their clients weren't just your average wealthy lord. They were lending billions to entire governments in 1825 when they supplied enough coin to the Bank of England to avoid a market liquidity crisis. And they granted loans to France after its defeat by Prussia. And they granted a four million pound loan to the British government after only being asked a few hours before. They were simply put rolling in that money these days. The family has taken a more low-key approach to being a financial superpower while spending their wealth by donating vast quantities of art to charity and generally avoiding conspicuous displays of wealth, especially after the Surrealist Party in the 1970s, which will forever haunt my dreams. The Rothschild family is undeniably powerful, influential, and shrouded in mystery. Hence, all of the conspiracy theories, but whether or not they are responsible for JFK's assassination remains for conspiracy theorists to decide. The Windsor Family Possibly one of the most popular and influential royal families in the world, with family branches spanning Europe and influence that spans the globe. If that isn't enough to make you want to find your own Windsor heir, wait until you see how wealthy the latest generation of British royalty is. Prince William and Kate Middleton's three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, aren't just living a life of unparalleled luxury. They're also making money. Prince George is already worth $2.8 billion, and his sister Charlotte is worth $4.3 billion. They're both in the tens of billions of dollars, despite the fact that neither of them is ten. The Windsor's influence reaches far beyond Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, and England, extending to every continent on the planet, including Antarctica. Some of these countries include the South Pacific island of Tana, where the Duke of Edinburgh was revered as a god, and Canada, where the portrait of Queen Elizabeth is featured on their $20 bill. This may seem strange, but did you know that Queen Elizabeth owns one-sixth of the world's land? Of course she'll appear on a few bills. The Queen is the world's largest landowner, with over 6 billion acres of land under her control, and she is also the head of state of 16 countries. These countries are part of the Commonwealth realm and include some of the world's wealthiest nations, such as Australia, New Zealand, and Canada, which could theoretically put the Windsor family's worth at $25 trillion. Now the Windsors may be running a constitutional monarchy these days, but that doesn't take away from their power. I mean, people have tattoos of the royal family on them. I'm talking about permanent drawings of Queen Elizabeth on their bodies. You can only wish to be that well known. And what good is fame if you can't back it up with ridiculous amounts of wealth? The Windsors certainly can. They own several castles, mansions, and estates, all of which are astronomically expensive, and they didn't even have to buy most of them. There's also the Royal Collection, which is one of the world's largest art collections, with over 7,000 paintings, 40,000 watercolors and drawings, and approximately 150,000 old master prints owned by the British royal family. They have historical photographs, tapestries, and the $4 billion crown jewels. 
Almost anything that could be considered art can be found in this collection. Some of the Windsor's luxurious royal holdings include Kensington Palace, which is valued at $630 million, and Buckingham Palace, which is valued at $4.9 billion, and is one of the world's most expensive and popular buildings. And they just casually live in it. The Koch family. When you combine oil, money, time, and a healthy dose of generational wealth, you get the Coca-Cola family, a dynasty of oil billionaires with a current net worth of $100 billion, who have shaped both the economies and political landscape of the United States. The Koch family's rise to power began with a company with a mouthful of a name, the Wood, River, Oil, and Refining Company, which was thankfully renamed to Koch Industries in honor of Fred Koch, one of the company's earliest members. It was run by his two sons, David and Charles Koch, affectionately known as the Koch Brothers, after which millions upon millions of Coca-Cola jokes were made. That is until when David died at the age of 79. To give you an idea of why the Koch family is on this list, consider that Coca-Cola Industries is the second largest privately owned company in the United States and the sixth largest in the world, with a yearly revenue of $115 billion. Oh, but Coke Industries isn't just wealthy. They are prolific as well. They have acquired so many companies and have so many subsidiaries that they effectively do everything now. And I'm not exaggerating when I say these acquisitions were incredibly smart. For example, the $22.5 billion purchase of Georgia Pacific, one of the world's largest manufacturers and distributors of paper. They provide a wide variety of household products under popular names like Brawny, Angelsoft, and Vanity Fair. They also spend $7.5 billion to buy Molex, an electronic components manufacturer, and they work with the U.S. National Guard as well. Whatever kind of apocalypse is coming, the Koch family is prepared, not only with their wealth, but they also invest a non-significant amount of their wealth into ensuring the political landscape of the country is exactly the way they want it. It turns out that they don't have to be royalty or even hold a political office to get a few politicians to speak your language. If there's one thing the Koch family is really passionate about, it's real estate. They recently purchased a multi-billion dollar 63-story 4,000-unit hotel and casino on the Las Vegas Strip. And that's just the beginning. They plan to buy more hotels and hospitality assets at this point. They're just trying to fill the bingo card with industries they can take over. The Walton Family I believe the Walton family is one of the most powerful families in the world, with a net worth of $169.7 billion and a corporation with a net worth greater than some countries' GDP. But, you know, no one really talks about them. Do you know what a Walmart is? Well, I know what a Walmart is, and we've all seen the memes. But did you know that there are approximately 10 Walmart stores in 24 countries worldwide, employing approximately 2.2 million people? I certainly didn't know that. Walmart was founded by Sam Walton in 1962. Over time, it grew to become the world's largest company by revenue, earning over $540 billion and making the Walton family the wealthiest family in the United States. Let me tell you, Walmart is so powerful that just having one in a community is enough to destroy whatever competition stands in its way. If a Walmart opens up in a small town, about half of the retail trade will be gone in a few years. And that's all for today, guys. Apart from conspiracy theories, which family do you believe is the most powerful? Enlighten us with your thoughts. Share in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And thank you for watching.